Hi everybody, this is How Is It Faked, okay? The purpose of this video is to, is to show how can, if you know uh, the proper tools to edit images or videos, you can fabricate um, or you can create supposedly ghost pictures or ghost videos and ghost pictures are easier than videos because it is a still image uh, meanwhile video of course is more complicated you really have to be good on visual effects or after effects because this is gonna influence in the, the final result anyways but uh, today I'm gonna show you how to create a supposedly ghost picture or a ghost cotton picture this this is a picture I caught on the internet you can see the description below my intention is to place the ghost in this area here okay on the on the right in this house I think because it's it's uh, you have a, a lot of shadows and darker areas there so uh, it's 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 a nice place to to put a, a ghost. Let's let's grab a picture. So I found this picture of Samara from the Ring. This image is already isolated. And as long as you have the isolated image, you can place it wherever you want. Okay, you can put Samara on the beach, in the snow. You can put Samara mm -hmm. hanging out with her friends on the disco. So you can place her wherever you want to. So it's easier when it, the image is isolated. It's not every image that you can place in this situation because you have to pay attention to some, some aspects. For example, the shadows, the, the light, where the light is coming from. For example, in this picture, it's coming from the left side. And, uh, and it's gonna match perfectly with, uh, with, the, um, with the light in the, in the background image because if you see, the street lights on the place where they're gonna put her the source of lights come from the left so it's gonna match you guys are gonna see it's gonna be awesome That is, as you see, I'm gonna I'm gonna circulate the the right uh, the left side, so you can see the source of light matches with the with the light coming from the street light, and and it makes the image more believable. So basically, that's it. As you can see, it works from distance and also works when you zoom in. So after doing that. I realized, yeah, maybe it's too easy because to manipulate this picture because it was a night shot, so you have a lot of dark areas to, to masquerade many, many imperfections. Night shots are always easier because they are, they are full of they are full of dark areas. If you know what I mean? So, um, so I thought, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get an hour on day shot. I grab a picture. Again, I'm gonna post uh, all the credits here below. You can see the credits down below. I got this picture uh, from freepeak.com. You can see this lovely couple just enjoying uh, a, a sunny day on the grass. So uh, I'm gonna put her in the background and uh, she's gonna be there stalking and watching this, this couple. <laughs> Maybe the guy is, is some, one of Samara's ex-boyfriends and she came back from the, the afterlife to get revenge anyways. <laughs> I'm very happy with them. So I'm gonna post this picture. Uh, I'm gonna post the link for this picture as well, along with the credits down below, so you can you can have a look. So that's it. All right. I hope you have liked. I'm gonna try to post more videos like this, uh, not only with ghosts, maybe uh, with UFOs or how to uh, to manipulate body parts to make it more believable as well. So. 
Uh, we'll see. And of course, you can send me, you can comment down below. Okay, you can give me suggestions on what kind of picture you would like me to to try to recreate. Okay, because the intention is to recreate the picture uh, to make it fake. So to show you how is it fake. So if you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and spread the word. Share. Uh, share the video, share with your friends, with your colleagues, okay? So that's it for, for today. Have a nice day, guys. Bye-bye. See ya. Everybody, this is How Is It Faked, episode 2. I've watched my, obviously uh, my first video and um, I got some opinions and some reviews and uh, also my own self-criticism so for in the first moment I told you uh, if you watch he, here I think so <laughs> if you watch here the link for the for the first video I was telling it wasn't a tutorial but uh, I, I talked a lot and uh, ended up a mix of tutorial and something so it was too long so I still learning and uh, I, I'll be trying to do something more dynamic so today I will talk very little just um, just enough today's video uh, I brought two I will try to manipulate two pictures the first one it's a UFO and the second one is the nun yeah so on September 60th they released the they released this movie the now that it's part of the country universe so if you have watched the conjuring one two annabelle annabelle creation and now you have uh, now you have the now as part of this universe so to celebrate and uh, kind of getting ready for halloween so uh, i will be showing you how to fake these two pictures so I won't talk too much, so let's get it started now.
picture I've taken from my uh, on my friend's house. He lives in Wicklow. I forgot the name of the place, but it's somewhere in Wicklow, here in Ireland, and it's an amazing place and amazing view. Um, so I took the, that picture that without thinking, you know, he manipulate, but I decided, well, why not? Especially because it's a day shot, and as I told, if you watch again my first video here about uh, my first how is it fake video. Uh, I was telling, I was explaining that day, uh, night shots are easier than, uh, than day shots because it's full of darkness, it's full of dark areas. Um, but this next one, it's a dark area, so because for, for the nun, yeah, because I think, I think it's part of the suspense. The no bring uh, the, the movie is full of darkness, so that's why I decided to to manipulate in a in a darker area. But um, I've been watching a lot of videos on YouTube, a lot of videos about uh, the no some some ghost pictures caught on camera, kind of a shadow people. And I was every time I see those those videos, I start to put my brain to work and said, yeah, how can I how can I fake it? How can I create recreate it? Uh, again, for God's sake, I'm not saying those videos, all those pictures are fake. I'm just saying that it's possible to fake. So, uh, so let's see. I, I, I promised I'm not gonna talk too much. I don't want to make a long video, but I can do a short video. Otherwise, it's not gonna be monetized. So let's see uh, how is it fake for featuring the nom. I'm not gonna tell the the, the demon's name, okay? So let's see it. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of afraid of so. <laughs>
So that's the result. I hope you have liked it. So again, if you like it, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And uh, I'll be trying to post more videos, more dynamic videos like this. And uh, I'll be posting some, some previews or short versions of, this mo of, this, of these videos on my social medias as well. So don't forget to follow me here, okay? Here at my, my address for my social medias. And uh, thank you for, for watching, for, thank you for your patience. And i see you next time, okay? So see you guys, bye bye. Take it easy. Hi, I'm Clayton Crispin, and this is How Is It Faked, episode 3. So, uh, I think everybody knows now what is what happened in Brazil. Uh, I don't know if some of you know. I'm I am a Brazilian, and now uh, we have a very um, a very dramatic. You know, we have we have some some issues regarding these elections, the president the presidency election presidency elections this year. So it was really dramatic. But uh, one of the things that caught my attention, and uh, I think I could do. Uh, um, Changes in, in content were the fake news. So the fake news were regarding two Brazilian politicians. One is Flavio Bolsonaro, uh, Jair Bolsonaro's uh, son, yeah, the 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 president, the uh, the president elected in Brazil. Um, they manipulated his T-shirt. Okay, actually his shirt. He, he was wearing a polo shirt. No, it's not a polo shirt, but yeah, it is a polo shirt. And um, he, they, they, they put a sentence there as uh, miso um, a xenophobic or uh, kind of a racist uh, statement there for, um, you know, kind of a prejudice uh, against people from the northeast of Brazil. And, uh, and it, it is fake. And the other one, it's Manuela Davila. And uh, they they manipulated. They, they put uh, on her shirt, I state on her T-shirt, a statement that translated from Portuguese means uh, Jesus is a travestite. <laughs> so uh, obviously, you know, to to damage her image or, anyways, in both cases, as uh, their supporters or a lot of people with bad intentions, they did that to, of, of course, to to damage their image, anyway. So I'm gonna show you how how to fake that. So I, I grab the same pictures. I couldn't find the original picture uh, from from Flavio Bolsonaro. I couldn't find the original picture. Uh, I mean, only the, the, the picture in, in a good quality to manipulate, but I got another one. He's wearing the same shirt, the same polo shirt. And uh, Manuela Davida, I found the I found the original picture, and uh, I'm gonna manipulate. So I'm gonna show you how how to fake in both situations. All right. Um, and I have to tell, I mean, in, in the, Flavius Bolsonaro's picture was really well, was a good job. Seriously, I'm not I'm not I'm not saying that it was right, whatsoever. That that wasn't right, but uh, the intention. Was, wasn't good, but the work was really good. I mean, it was really, really well done. Uh, I mean, for you see, because uh, there, there are a lot of, um, there are a lot of, uh, um, how can I say, press and, jour and newspapers, companies, uh, a lot of press, a lot of people that are really trying to, to work against fake news. So uh, they found the original picture and they put side by side to see, to, to show that Flavio Bolsonaro wasn't wearing that t-shirt, that racist uh, shirt with that statement, yeah? And uh, because otherwise, you, people would think 
still do not uh, arguing that he is a racist, that he meant to, to, to wear that shirt because the work was really good, even though the intention wasn't good. But uh, in Manuela Davila's picture, that was awful. It was a very poor job, very poor work. So um, the person who did that really did it. I mean, that, that you can see the picture, you know, it's, it's ridiculous, you know, they didn't do, they didn't do a good job there anyways. So um, I'm going to show you in both cases. Uh, and again, I mean, Manuela Davila, they, they, they found the original picture and put side by side to see. The original picture was written, uh, I think, rebel, rebel yourself, kind of, I don't know, be a rebel, so rebel, rebel yourself, so basically this. So. And uh, of course, I couldn't let this behind because we're still in, in a Halloween mood. The third manipulation, the third attempt is to create a, a picture with a shadow person on the picture. So I hope I, hope I, can, I can show that anyway. So let's see. Now we're gonna see the shadow person manipulation and you're gonna see it's I mean if you if you know something in Photoshop it will, it's not that hard to manipulate okay so I'm gonna show you now uh, a shadow person how to manipulate how to fake a picture with a shadow person there so let's see
that's it guys hope you have liked it so as usual if you like it give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel it's really important for me to make this channel grow and I really thank you for all for all people who who are supporting me who are giving good vibes and good comments on my and across my, my social medias I'm really trying to, to improve even the way I speak I know I make a lot of mistakes and I'm still learning and I still try to create something interesting, not so boring. I know I tend to, to speak a lot because I like to speak. And uh, but let's see. I mean, I think I think I, I'm I'm a, I'm on the right way. And I uh, thank you very much. I mean, it's so it's very important your support, okay? And um, and you can see here my social media. You can follow me there. You can like it. You can do whatever you want, okay? And comment, okay? And give me suggestions. What else you you want me to? to manipulate or try to try to recreate okay and that's it so see you guys next video kisses and hugs bye bye hi how's it going i'm clayton crispin do you think every cover of magazine or official photo published by celebrities are 100% real? The purpose of this video is not to affirm these pictures are fake, but to show that it's possible to fake. Take your own conclusions after watching this episode of How Is It Faked? Today's manipulation is about uh, Ashley Graham. She's an American model. Uh, she was covered up many magazines like, like Vogue, Happen Bazaar, and I think since 2016, um, she, I mean, she's now a kind of a plus size model. So she's not like slim like before, anyways. And uh, but the message that she, she tries to pass forward is that you should be happy with the body you have. Every person is beautiful the way they are. So, uh, but at today's manipulation, I'm gonna get uh, a recent picture of her at the beach. So uh, uh, we're gonna make it look slim, more thin anyways. And, uh, but uh, I mean, I'm not, but no, I'm not saying that that's the perfect body. I think she's really right to tell that it's, I mean, you should be happy the way you are, accept your, the way you are, as long as you're healthy, okay? I think it's not a problem if you are overweight, but you should be, ha you should be happy and healthy as well, of course. And, uh, but uh, just to show you, you know, that it's possible to manipulate, that it's possible that not 100% of things you see on the cover of magazines or, or on the internet or, or even celebrities' Instagram, not everything there is real and it's possible to fake. I'm not pointing, you know. I mean, there are some 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 photos that they are obviously very very fake. They're gonna let the ghosts behind a little bit, and uh, I'll be back with them with the ghostly paranormal uh, themes in the next. How is it faked? Okay, so let's see how is it faked. Uh, this manipulation on Ashley Graham.
Hello everybody, how's it going? I'm Clayton Crispin. You might have heard about UFOs, unidentified flying objects, but have you ever heard about USOs? Unidentified submerged objects. So I came across with this image that is actually a still frame from a security team channel's video. And uh, I put the link here in the description and in the card so you, if you want to know more about this, this stuff, about this subject and the other ones, go and check his channel, it's really, really nice. And when I spotted this picture on this video, I, I thought, yeah, that deserves a recreation. So what I'm going to do today is try to recreate something similar, okay? Try to be uh, to make something believable, as believable as possible, okay? So if you want to see the result, just have a look on today's episode of How Is It Fate? So, before I start, be sure to subscribe to this channel, give it a thumbs up, and share with your friends, with your family, okay? Your opinion is very important for me, okay? So leave it a comment if you're liking or not, okay? So in today's manipulation, I'm gonna be using two tools, two softwares, one is Blender 3D and Photoshop. Blender 3D, it's a very powerful and nice tool for rendering and modeling, for 3D rendering and modeling, and uh, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna be used that to to modeling to create the the USO the object, and then I'm gonna be use Photoshop to give the final touches and something. So so I won't talk too much because I know I speak too much. I don't want to I don't want to make this video too long. So uh, have a look on today's manipulation. Let's see how we're gonna recreate an USO hovering over the ocean.
is an article from express.co.uk and it highlights shocking claim UFO photograph to entry under sea base. This article is from December 10th, 2016, where it says, in quotes, Paranormal investigators are looking at these strange pictures which has been claimed show a UFO caught on cameras as it enters the sea. The world is full of mysteries. There are loads of pictures we don't have any logical explanation for that. Like this image captured by one of the Google Maps satellites where it shows a circular object under the sea in Greece. I'm gonna post the coordinates down below in the description so you can go there and take your own conclusions. Hi, I'm Clayton Priston and this is How Is It Faked? So before we start, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel and ring the bell. This way you'll be notified every time a new video is uploaded. And share the video with your friends, with your family, and leave it a comment, okay? Your opinion is very important for me. Just leave it a comment down below if you're liking or not, all right? And you can follow me here on my social medias. On the previous How Is It Fate, where you can see here in the, in the cards, I tried to recreate a USO, an unidentified submerged object hovering over the ocean, right? And uh, I used two tools, Photoshop and Blender 3D. But I'm very perfectionist, so I wasn't happy with that result, so I'm gonna recreate another version of an USO hovering over the ocean. And uh, if you want to see the first steps of the creation, you can check here as well. On this one, I'm going to place the object over, hovering over the ocean, but everything is going to be created on a 3D environment. Okay, the sea, the sky, and so I'm going to be using only Blender 3D to recreate all this scene, all right? So if you want to see the result, just have a look at it now.
Hi, how's it going? I'm Clayton Christen. Today's How Is It Faked is inspired by the legend of Morrow Road. According to the Paranormal Community Board, in quotes, the legend of Morrow Road, located in Clay Township, Michigan, almost Clayton, <laughs> uh, located in Clay Township, Michigan, Old Morrow Road is famous for a horrifying reason. The story goes that a mother and a child went missing from their home on this road sometime in the late 1800s. The little boy disappeared into the air and shortly after the mother also vanished. It is believed she died in a terrified death while searching for her son. Locals say the ghostly figure of a mother can still be seen wandering Old Morrow Road to this day. So before we start, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell this way you're gonna be notified every time a new video is uploaded and also give it a thumbs up and leave it a comment if you're liking or not and share this video with your friends, with your family, alright? So today I'm gonna be using only Photoshop to try to recreate this scene, this ghostly scene. If you want to see the result, just have a look at now. The Wan Ghost This is a picture taken by Tony O'Reilly and it shows a supposedly ghost of a girl inside a building on fire in Shropshire, England and it is one of the classic ghost pictures caught on camera. 
although, according to the article on Shropshire Star, in quotes, one of Shropshire's most sensational mysteries, the spooky riddle of the Wham Ghost, may at last have been solved by an eagle-eyed Shropshire Star's reader Brian Lear. Brian spotted an eerie similarity between a girl standing in the street in a 1922 photo of Wham and the young girl whose fuzzy image was famously captured amid the flames as Wham Tom Hall burned down in 1995. That photograph, taken by local amateur photographer Tony O'Reilly, created international headlines and sparked the legend of the Wham Ghost. There was speculation that the girl was 14 years old Jane Charm, who accidentally started the disastrous Great Fire of Wham in 1677 and was reputed to be haunting to the town hall. Before I even start doing today's manipulation, I decided to compare these two pictures using Photoshop and the result left me completely baffled. Just placing the postcards girl side by side with the supposed ghost makes the resemblances become more and more evident. But after overlapping these two pictures, the girl do look like the same person. The details on their heads, the position of eyes, nose, mouth, the whole face just match perfectly. The picture was examined by experts from the National Museum of Photography, and they conclude it was fake. I'm Clayton Crispin, and this is How Is It Faked? Today's How Is It Fake, I'm gonna get this little girl picture on the postcard, I'm gonna try to recreate this scene, the girl on fire in another picture of a building on fire. But before I start, I'd like to ask you to give it a thumbs up to this video and subscribe to this channel and ring in the bell, because this way you're gonna be notified every time a new video is uploaded. And comment something, okay? Your opinion is always very important to me, so drop a comment down below if you're liking or not and share this video with your friends, with your family, with your colleagues. So, as I said before, today I'm gonna try to recreate this scene using only Photoshop. So we're gonna try to, I'm gonna get the original picture and place in another scene, in another building on fire. So I'm gonna be using this steel frame of a video that covered um, uh, a fire that consumed the railroad salvage, the railroad salvage building in, in the United States. So uh, if you want to see the result, just have a look at now.
so much for having watched this video. And if you like them, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel and ring the bell. This way you'll be notified every time a new video is uploaded. Thank you once again. Bye bye.